said he had the power to override governors. He literally did the exact opposite, and then he gives the guy an award. The elements are, I'll brave whatever we need to. I mean, nothing's handed to you in this life, much, much less a presidential nomination. So if you have to go and trudge through snow. Following our second place finish in Iowa, we've prayed and deliberated on the way forward. If there was anything I could do to produce a favorable outcome, more campaign stops, more interviews, I would do it. But I can't ask our supporters to volunteer their time and donate their resources if we don't have a clear path to victory. Accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. It's clear to me that a majority of Republican primary voters want to give Donald Trump another chance. They watch his presidency get stymied by relentless resistance, and they see Democrats using lawfare this day to attack him. I signed a pledge to support the Republican nominee, and I will honor that pledge. He has my endorsement because we can't go back to the old Republican guard of yesteryear, a repackaged form of warmed over corporatism that Nikki Haley represents. I'm very deflated, very upset. This is not good news at all. Um, I'm very upset, but it happened and it's very deflating. <laughs> Be fine. He'll recover. Um, I guess that's, uh, uh, I think he'll do okay. I'm not a big fan of President Trump, so I'm not going to vote for him. I voted for him twice, and uh, in 2022, we lost a lot of our, a lot of the people here that, um, you know, supported him.